right now I'm in my BitForest demo account in this video I want to show you how do you let's say you want to send um, the money USDT uh, whether it's ERC20 or even uh, let's say BEP20 or even Tron uh, to someone you know to, to someone uh, to invest into their coin for example or if you want to send uh, USDT to a friend to a family to anyone that you really want in general how do you send it in your bit for account so the key in here is after you sell your um, basically let's say you when you go inside your spot account right so let's say after you sell um, your token whether it's um, whether it's Ecomi or whether it's anything in here when you sell your token it's gonna turn into USDT which is in bit force okay and the next thing that you want to do in here guy is um, you want to go to your spot account and just really check out like how much money do you have so in here I have a little bit of money in here and the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to um, transfer you want to transfer the money of USDT make sure you have USDT okay USDT from your spot account because spot account is your trading account the first thing is before you send the money to someone right you want to take the money from your trading account and send it to your wallet so let's say in this case I want to um, send you know five thousand dollars okay but I just want to add a little bit fee in there because when you send five thousand dollars they're gonna have some fee so I just gonna put this transaction is like five thousand and let's say one hundred dollars five thousand fifty okay just in case <coughs> five thousand and fifty dollars and I want to send for my trading account which is spot to my wallet that's the first step okay you want to send your money there first okay now it's a C so you will see like right now if I click right here my money is less say I don't have twenty six thousand dollar in my spot account for example okay uh, this one is uh, a demo account so right now the next thing I want to do is I want to click on withdraw right so you want to click on withdraw withdraw is basically any time that you want to send money to someone you have to click on withdraw okay click on USDT and I want to click on right here and the next thing that I want to do in here guy is I want to click on let's say um, USDT you see I have five thousand something dollar over here you see this okay and now the next thing that I want to do is you want to know like USDT they have like USDT ERC20 USDT TRC20 this one is on a Tron network this one is on ERC20 is mean it's on Ethereum network USDT on Ethereum network USDT TRC20 is on Tron network I'm not sure about this one right here but BEP20 is on Binance Smart Chain network and USDT Polygon is on Polygon network so when you send the money you have to make sure it's the right network is really important so the next thing that you want to do right now is you want to ask the person that want to receive your money do they want to receive the money on ERC20 which is Ethereum network or they want to receive on BEP20 this is the most popular ERC20 or BEP20 USDT on Coinbase I believe is ERC20 USDT on crypto app is ERC20 as well okay but USDT on MetaMask they have BEP20 and they also have ERC20 it's all depend um, so now let's say this person they say they want me to send them USDT on TRC20 so I click right here and you see the fee right here the fee is, is only a dollar okay <coughs> the fee on ERC20 is only a dollar the fee on ERC20 is $57 it's crazy when, whenever you send like USDT on like Ethereum network the fee is insane the gas fee is like crazy BEP20 is only five bucks you see so I like to suggest the person who receive the money like can I send you the money on BEP20 or even on Tron because ERC is, is quite expensive for example so in this case I will send the person on TRC20 okay 
So now I take I take the address from that person and I click right here at frequent use address. Okay? And you click on right here. So right now I sent the money to let's say to this person. Um <coughs> let's say I sent to I'm gonna put a name in here is um Fuku. Okay. And the address is right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I the step that I'm doing right now is I literally just put a name in here and this is USDT <coughs> on Tron Network which is on TRC. I just put a name, you can name anything you want. Now when I click on send right here, that's mean they will send you a code to your email. They want you to verify because they don't want people to go into your account and they're just stealing your money and things like that, right? Uh, you want to make sure that you s click on send right here. So they're going to send, let's say, to my email. So now I want to go to my email and check this thing. <coughs> <coughs> okay, excuse me. I want to go to my email and I want to check the, the code. <coughs> Damn. I cough right now, but still try to record this video for you guys, okay? Three, six, five. <coughs> and this flu lasts me for a while. So you put this, the code in here, go to your email and check, okay? So I go to my Gmail and I check, and this is the code right here that Bit4 sent to me. So you confirm. Now, I have Google authentication. I want to double check that um, to confirm it is me. <coughs> so I go to my Google authenticator to double check. And I put in this code right here. There you go, it's me. So I finished success at this thing in there. You see that? This is the address right here. So you want to make sure this address is correct, okay? Now, what I want to do in here is I want to send $5,000 to this person in USDT, okay? And you click right here, and I'm about to click on Submit to send a $5,000 to this person, okay? 5000 to... So you want to make sure the address one more time is correct, okay? You don't want to send to the wrong people. And now I want to click on Submit, okay? Click on Submit. TRC, make sure it's correct because you sent the wrong address, you doom, okay? Make sure it's the right address. Very, very important before you send the money. 5000 this is the fee. And click on Submit, okay? And when you submit the 5000 they're going to ask you for the code one more time to make sure it's right. I, I love how bit for it is really secure, okay? They want to make sure every single time you send, it comes from you. So no one really hacked your account. 291. Okay, so I sent the money already. <coughs> it's 25% is complete. Whenever it's complete, it's going to show like 50%. And it's going to show you the TX ID right here. It's going to show you the TX ID. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to take this TX ID right here and send to the person to show them the Ether scan or the Tron scan or whatever the scan is in here that. Um, that you have the proof that you sent them the money, okay, which is really important. So I think the TX ID right here is really important. It's kind of like a receipt to prove that you already sent the money. So this is the step, guy. This is the step uh, of transfer the money to someone, to send the money to someone, or even withdraw the money to someone. So keep in mind, I say that one more time. The first step is you have to transfer the money from... Um, you know, your spot account to your wallet and make sure it's USDT you know if you want to send USDT and of course after you send to your wallet you click on withdraw and choose the USDT and choose what type of chain on the USDT that you want to send so in my case I send TRC okay so that's why you see right now this is my transaction right here okay 
hopefully this video is helpful and if you have any question comment below okay and thank you so much and have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.